What is going on everybody ladies and gentlemen simply pop 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 pops back at it again with another tweaks of the week video for iOS 12 I apologize for missing last week I wasn't really paying too much attention to Cydia but this week we back in back better than ever Now before I get started I put on the new screen protector so I have some bubbles down there so just don't mind that Of course I throw the wallpaper link down below if you guys are interested And yeah so without further ado let's get right into it This first tweak you guys are seeing right now is called Stratus I hope I'm saying that right. So what this tweak does, Stratosphere, is going to move your dock from the bottom to the top. Now, I don't know, maybe that's your cup of tea. Maybe you might like that, but it could be useful if you have a tweak going on on the bottom. You just want to move your dock to the top, then this tweak is right for you. There are no settings to configure with this one. You just install it, and it's just going to work. So next up, we have a tweak called Notch Volume HUD. So if you have an iPhone 10 device, such as the 10s, 10, 10R, it's going to move the volume HUD to the notch. So as you guys can see, the volume HUD is actually around the notch. Very, very convenient. If you're watching a movie, it's not going to interrupt you. Now you can configure, you can change the colors of it. I made it yellow because it's easier to see no matter which application you're in. You can always see that yellow. You can change the thickness. So if it's a little bit too thick for you, you can make it a little thinner. Um, also, if you flip the switch, you guys can see the red is on the top. So you could change that color too right down there. And the media and the ringer, you could change the colors too. Another thing too, it stays there. So it's going to always stay there unless you turn it all the way down, then you're not going to see it at all. All right, so next up, this one here is called Auto Unlock 10 or Auto Unlock X. So all it is, is going to automatically scan your face without swiping up. So, you know, you're going to enter in your phone a lot quicker. And it saves a little bit of time, maybe saves a couple of seconds. Um, and then, yeah. But if you have notifications, it's not going to come up. Or if you're playing music, it's not going to automatically unlock. So, so for example, I'm playing music. It's going to scan my face. I unlock it. And that's it. It's not going to automatically jump to the home screen because maybe you want to seek through your music. Maybe you want to reply to a text message, you know, so on and so forth. And also, if you have your flashlight on, it's not going to automatically unlock the phone too as well. It's going to unlock it, but it's not going to open it. Now, there are some settings to configure if you like. So you can enable it. You can disable if notifications and all the stuff that I went through. And you can also have an auto retry. So it's not going to scan your face one time and then you got to enter in your passcode. It's going to keep on trying. Next up, we have a tweak called Power Module, and all it is is going to add some power settings to your control center. So as you guys can see, I got rid of the connectivity um, platter here, and all it is, you have all the essentials here. So you have respring, you have safe mode, reboot, lock screen, power down, and you have UI cache. So basically, it's going to clean the cache. Now, once you download that tweak to enable it, you have to go into your settings, then you have to go into the control center. And then you have to go into customize control. Once you do that, you're going to see it on the bottom. And all you got to do, you just tap on the plus, And then you can just slide whatever you want it. So for example, I have, I have it on the top. So if I move it down, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be right there. I like having it right by the connectivity. So it's just right there. So it's making it seem like nothing was changed, but you just have different toggles. Next up, we have a tweak called Groovy Tube. And I see myself keeping this on my device. It's going to allow you to customize the way how your YouTube application looks. So in my case, I made it black and red. You guys know in dark mode, it's not a true dark mode on the YouTube app. It's like a gray color scheme. This is going to make it true black. You know, so this is truly dark mode. And I figure the red color scheme, the red accents, as you guys can see, it really just fits really well with YouTube because, they, you know, it's red. You could change the background. You could change the navigation, tab bars. You could change a bunch of things. Next, we have color shortcuts. So now all it is when you 3D press on the icon, it's going to change. Well, it's going to adapt to the color of the application. So in this case, the app store is blue. I 3D press it, it's like a blue accent there. So, you know, iBooks, it's like an orange accent. So that's basically all it is. You know, it makes everything unique. You know, every pat platter is unique. It's not the same color. Instagram is going to be nice and pink. And yeah, really, really cool. It just, you know, adds a little flavor, adds a little life to iOS, I feel like. Now, you do have settings to configure here, but I like to leave everything as is. Um, so, yeah, if you have a favorite color, you could just set that color. Next up, we have a tweak called Call Bar 10S or XS, whatever you like to call it. So, let me give you guys a good scenario for this. I'm on Instagram. Let's say I want to make a phone call of something. I don't know what's going to come up on Instagram. Okay. Um, I got to just swipe my finger by the status bar. 
left or right don't matter and now you can make a phone call on the bottom there you have a bunch of options you have your history your star your contacts and if you press on the blue button if you press on the blue button it's going to redial the last number that you called uh let me like this picture real quick okay so if i tap on the blue button it's going to redial the last number which is me and then once you want to confirm you just tap on the green button okay as you guys can see on the bottom you can answer it which i'm going to do okay so now as you guys can see on the bottom I don't know, I got to change my name, Drive Now, Text Now. I was doing a project, and I wanted to do something. I wanted to take a screenshot, but I made a mistake. So now, you're having a nice FaceTime conversation while you're on Instagram or doing whatever you like to do. Wow. Very, very handy. Doesn't stop what you're doing, especially if you're having a long conversation. Sometimes that can get a little annoying, so you can see exactly what's going on. Man, this thing is worth every penny just because of that. But you can make it flat if you like. Um, so just get rid of the curve you can make it a solid white which is go all the way back to the top you can make it a solid black a light glass it's like a transparency so you can still see stuff behind it a dark glass you have some ios 13 concepts i don't really like the I ios 13 concepts i feel like it's a little too big um but me personally i like the concept x the curve on the bottom and don't worry guys i'm going to pick up an iphone stand I'm going to pick up the official stand from Apple. like the way how that one looks. Um, I've been using my face mask for the last, since iOS 11. Or iOS 10. You guys wasn't even around since iOS. Next up, we have a tweak called Keyboard Color 12. So all it is, you can change the color of your keyboard. Although it is a little bit wonky on uh, iPhone 10 devices. But it's going to work perfectly if you have an iPhone 8 or 7 or 6 or maybe even 5. It's going to work perfectly. But if you have a 10 device, the bottom is going to be blacked off. Um, but that's okay. You know, Just wait for an update. Hopefully they have support for iPhone 10 devices. Now of course you can change the color. Whatever color you like. And then once that's done... You apply the changes, it's going to respring your device, and you're going to have that keyboard color. And then now look, I have that lavender color now. Next up, we have a tweak called Auto Brightness Toggle. And it's going to add a toggle to your control center. So as you guys can see, this big sun right here, that's the auto brightness. So without going into the display, display accommodations, and this and that, you just have a nice simple toggle to enable or disable auto brightness. I just said that so funny. Auto brightness. Okay, so now right now auto brightness is currently on. I can turn it off. I can adjust the brightness the way I like it. And yeah, now look, I'm gonna turn it on. It's gonna load the brightness. So yeah, it's auto brightness, but it's just on the toggle. Now to have that toggle on your control center, very, very easy. Go into settings, controls, <laughs> control center. I cannot talk today. Customize toggle. Oh my god, I did it again. And um you just look for auto brightness and there it is. You just you know position it where you want it and it's going to be right there just like that now if you have a regular iphone such as the iphone 8 7 6 5 you want to install this tweak this here is called modern dock kind of get with the times um so it's going to add the iphone 10 dock to older devices it doesn't really make sense for me to install it because i have nothing but iphone 10 so yeah i can't it's not going to work. You guys are not going to see a difference. So yeah, I just added onto the list this modern dock. It's just going to add this round, nice dock onto your older iPhone. Now this one here is called Day Night Switch. And it's going to change your toggles. So as you guys can see, if something is enabled, it's going to have the sun with the little cloud on the side. You can toggle it off. It's going to be the moon with the stars on the side. So now originally this tweak was only supposed to be for the Do Not Disturb toggle. But you can have it global. So it's going to have... It's going to be on every single toggle system wide. So as you guys can see, there's a nice little animation when you turn it off and on. Very, very pleasing to look at. Now, Downlocker is an awesome jailbreak tweak that's going to allow you to lock your device by just putting it down. So my device is off. Oh, I got a text message. All right. Sorry about that. Let me show you guys again. So I put my phone down. It locks the device. When you put it up. You have that raise the wake feature and I have the auto unlock. I'm right back to where I'm in and uh, put it down. We could do this all day. We could do this all day. S so seamless. Just pick up your phone. It's unlocked and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. And it works very, very good. Now, when I put this thing in my pocket, it doesn't work. You got to put it down. You got to 
physically put your iPhone down in order for this thing to work. If it goes in your pocket, it's not going to shut down. Now, next up, we have a tweak called iPad Style Safari Tabs. And it's going to bring the Safari Tabs on your iPhone. So as you guys can see, I have the iPads tabs right there. So, and it actually works. It works. This is where I get all my wallpapers from. Well, most of my wallpapers. And yeah, you can go right back without pressing the button and looking for the tab. You have all your tabs here. You can drag your fingers just like that. You can close the tab out. And you, and you know, just bring the iPad tabs on your iPhone. Simple. Oh yeah, I was on Worldstar. You know how that goes. I'm sorry if that freaks you out. <laughs> Alright, next up we have a tweet called Val Flash. And it's going to enable your flashlight by interacting with your volume button. So now in my case, I have a, you know, if you press two of the volume buttons, volume up and down, it's going to enable the flashlight. Just like that, instantly. No need to fumble around with control center or finding that shortcut. Just right there, it just works. Now, of course, there are some settings to configure. So if I go into the settings, you can change the gestures. So you have volume up and down, then volume up, then down, then you have volume up, hold, etc. etc. You even have the power buttons too. You enable your flashlight by interacting with your buttons on your iPhone. Simple but effective. So badge colors is just gonna take the dominant color of the application and it's gonna just have that color as your badge color that's all it is so the app store for instance you guys can see is blue and it has the you know white text and same thing with the messages app and you know so on and so forth and now if you have a folder it's going to take the last app that you added all right guys so we almost done this tweak right here is called video direction control and if you have your orientation lock on and you watch a video normally uh wait okay there we go the ad is done so now normally when you watch a video and you have your orientation lock, so in my case, orientation lock is on, it's going to just stay in portrait mode. But when you play a video, it's going to automatically turn itself around and make it landscape for video play. So I like this tweak a lot. Um, so no need to fumble around with your control center and turn it off. It's just going to work. And now this is how it's going to be without the tweak. So if I tap on play. It's probably, probably going to get another ad. Yep. So it's automatically going to put it in um, portrait. So that's without the tweak. All right. So this next tweak right here is called pride bars. So it's going to take your signal bars and it's going to just put the pride colors there. So now it is a little wonky on the iPhone 10. Hopefully it works on your regular iPhone, such as the iPhone 8, 6, 7. You guys know the regular iPhones. So really cool tweak if, um, if you're into that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it just takes the pride colors and just put it on your signal bar. Now, it is a little hard to see. Let me put it on the app here. And it is a little bit too big. Um, but once they update this and make it support for the iPhone 10, then I think this is something that some of you guys may like. Um, but me personally, I'm going to uninstall it just because it's kind of hard to see what signal you're on. It's not even telling you if you're on 4G or LTE. So it's a little bit of a crappy tweak if you apply maybe a brighter wallpaper you could probably see the bars a little bit better next up we have a tweak called better reachability and it's going to make reachability a little bit more useful once you activate it by sliding your finger down if you have an iphone 10 device or if you have an old school iphone double tap don't double press the home button to activate reachability once you slide your finger down which i'm going to do i just need a better grip oh and it just be normal so it is a little bit glitchy it's a little bit glitchy but um it works 80 percent of the time and yeah so it's going to resize your iphone so you're going to get to every corner just like that and it's like having a smaller iphone basically and oh shout out to crystal hey guys it's crystal she's a tech youtuber i would love to collaborate with crystal i don't know let me know in the comments i would love to collaborate with crystal crystal and once you're done using reachability you just do it again you slide your finger down and it's going to be full screen yet again. So yeah, very, very handy. If you want to get on top of the screen, you could do that and then just drag your finger down. You could switch sides by dragging your finger left or right. You can resize it. Just do it how you like it. Uh, don't swipe up. That's going to actually take you home. You just slide your finger down and that's it. But man, I want to collaborate with Crystal. Next, Nintendo Switch HUD. Even the Nintendo Switch has a better volume HUD than iOS. And it's going to bring 
the Nintendo Switch volume hood onto iOS. Now, it is not really compatible with the iPhone 10. It is cut off by the notch, but if you have an, um, if you have an iPhone 8, 7, or 6, I know I've been saying this all video, it's going to work it's gonna work better. It's gonna obviously work a lot better on your screen, but um, it's not designed for the notch at all. But something cool. So next up, we have a tweak called Floating Dock Plus, and it's gonna bring the dock on your iPhone. So as you guys can see, I had to uninstall um, what's that tweak? Strategize. <laughs> I installed that first tweak because it's not compatible. Um, so yeah, so this is Floating Dock Plus, and this is taking that iPad dock and put it onto your iPhone. All right, so for example, I'm on the application. I can slide my finger up. I can get to another app. I could get to the Safari application. I can get back into the settings just like that. But, you know, no problem whatsoever without going back home. And even if you activate the control center, you still have your dock down there, which is pretty cool. But even better, you have gestures. So you can enable control center or notification, I should say, by just dragging your finger down like so um so yeah very, very cool without reaching all the way to the top of your iphone screen you just activate it just like that now there is a way you can have multitasking on the iphone i actually cannot figure this out right now one pair of pants later i notice i was looking at my music app i know they don't have landscape support on the music application i noticed the instagram also works on landscape too it is a little glitchy as you guys can see but it definitely does work um so i can Play the music. Oops, didn't want to do that. So I could drag the music on the other side, and I could do this slide over. Man, and you can have Instagram on one side, and you have your music on the other side. And you can surf the web while you're on Instagram. Ooh, Ashanti. Ashanti is bad, man. Wow. Wow. But yeah, you can surf the web and on Instagram at the same time. But it's it's too glitchy. So yeah, so use it at your own risk. And the only problem is when you go back into portrait, Instagram completely blacks out and you have to force quit the application. So it's a little glitchy. Um, but it's up to you if you if you're interested. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I saved the best for last. This tweak right here is called car bridge. If you have a car play enable car. You're going to love this tweak right here. The car bridge is going to allow you to have any application on your car dash, on your car navigation. So as you guys can see, this is regular icons. But then the best thing is I have Instagram, I have YouTube, I have the weather, I have SoundCloud. And you even have the portal here. So this portal here is going to basically mirror whatever is on your device. So you can essentially run any app that you like right there on your car dash. So, I don't know, if you're watching a movie, you can watch it on your car dash. Let's go home. Let's tap on YouTube. You cannot normally do this on iOS. So, I can watch um, the hot ones. Welcome to Shaq's edition of the Snotty sound works. Wings. <laughs> I feel like Snotty Pippin up here. You got full screen. Man, this is so fire, man. Oh my god, I'm watching YouTube on my car. Like, you, you cannot do this on regular iOS. And this right here just makes it one you want a jailbreak. Now, obviously, it varies on your connection on your iPhone. So if you have a poor reception area, it's going to, you know, the quality may degrade or, um, you know, it might buffer. But if you download movies on your phone, you can essentially stream them on your car dash, which you can do um, if you have, like, a... You know, a download YouTube video, you can do just that. SoundCloud, you know, you could tap on SoundCloud, tap on your favorite artist that you like to play right there on your car. You cannot do that on regular iOS. You can even control the lights. I can control my lights inside the house right now. So right now I have my I have no lights on right now. So I could tap on my desk lights and right now I guarantee you my desk lights are on. So right there on my car dash. Man, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Car bridge is a staple tweak, ladies and gentlemen. Man, you can even browse through on Instagram. And keep in mind, this is in the car. This is my car right now. So, you know, you can browse through Instagram. Now, granted, I don't recommend you doing this while you're actually driving. But um, maybe like a little video or maybe you're watching a podcast. This is going to be perfect. So you can actually change the icons here. So as you guys can see, it's changing in real time. As you guys can see, I can have six icons. I can even have seven. It can get a little jumbled. So you guys can see it can get a little jumbled. 
But I'm going to keep it at 4. I think 4 looks just right. Or even 5. I mean, you can even stuff 5 icons there. But I like 4. It looks minimalistic. And then you can add the bridge application. So as you guys can see, I can add any application on my phone. I hope Netflix works. Yeah, bung. Netflix works just fine. Now, I'm not even signed in. You have your keyboard. You can log in just like that. But look, guys. You can even play a game, yo. Look, I'm playing a game right here. Now, I don't recommend you do this while you're driving. You know, obviously, that's why Apple probably didn't add stuff like this because, you know, they don't want the driver to get distracted. But you guys know, you know, don't text and drive. So car bridge, bridge any application you like. Some applications may not work, but um, most applications will. So, guys, that pretty much concludes this week's Tweaks of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. You guys been killing it with the support. The last Tweaks of the Week video got like 80,000 views. Man, that's a lot of love right there. You guys keep on watching. I keep on bringing them. And, man, that's much love. Other than that, your boy Pops, and i catch you guys on my next video.